then if you want the uncertainty for the multiplication of the quantities If two quantities are multiplied and we want to find the uncertainty, example, uh, electrical power, if you find the power is a product of voltage and current. Say we use a voltmeter and measure the voltage, that is two volts with the uncertainty of 0 0.1. And we measure the current, the current we measured example, it is five ampere with the uncertainty of example 0 0.2. Now, how to work out the uncertainty here? In this case, we will add, because whenever we want the uncertainty, the total uncertainty or the compound uncertainty, we will add. But the problem here, that they don't have the same units. The unit of the voltage is volt, and the unit of the current is ampere. So whenever two quantities have different units, then what we do, first we'll find the quantity, so it's a product of voltage and current. So voltage is two and the current is five. So two multiplied by five, we get the power as 10 watts. But what about the uncertainty? So for the uncertainty, what we do? In this case, the two quantities are having a different units. So we cannot add them. I cannot add like example voltage to ampere. It does not give any physical. So what we do? In that case, we will work out the percentage uncertainty and we will add them. So how to work out the percentage uncertainty? If I want to work out the percentage uncertainty in the voltage, so what is the percentage uncertainty in voltage? That is the uncertainty in the voltage divided by the value recorded. What is the value we record? 2 multiplied by 100. So this will be 5%. Same thing, what will be the percentage uncertainty in the current? The percentage uncertainty in the current is the uncertainty divided by the value we record multiplied by 100. So it will be 20 divided by 5 which is equals to 4%. You just 0.2 multiplied by 100 divided by 5. So now we have, so now what will the total, what will the total percentage uncertainty in the power, because the power is a product of voltage and current, uncertainty always adds. But because they don't have the same unit, so in this case, we will not add the values, we will add the percentages. So the uncertainty, the percentage uncertainty in the voltage is 5, and the percentage uncertainty in the current is 4. So 5 plus 4, what is the total uncertainty or percentage uncertainty? It means that is 9. So the 9 is the total percentage uncertainty. But what about the value? How to work out the uncertainty in the power? Because the total power is 10 watts. So what is 9% of 10? So if you want to work out 9% of the 10, it will be 9 divided by 100 multiplied by 10. So it will be 90 divided by 10, or what we get, we get 0 0.9 as a value. So the total uncertainty in the power, the total uncertainty in the power will be equals to plus minus 0 0.9 watts. Is it uh, clear? Anyone having a doubt or a question in this? No, sir. Okay. So when the quantities are multiplied, we work out the uncertainty by using the percentages instead of adding them directly. Okay. And then rounding off is another part, like because the uncertainty, how many significant figure you should use. You will always use the minimum number of the significant figure in the quantity. Like example, here we have only one significant figure in the uncertainty. Here also we have one significant figure. 
so we'll use only one significant figure but what if one was having two significant and another one one so we use the minimum number of the significant figure accordingly because sometimes some in, uh, physical quantities have more significant figure in their uncertainties than the other so we use a minimum number but that is about the rounding of part uh, related to calculation the last part this is was multiplication of the quantity but what if we have the division of the quantities if the quantities are divided So for the division of the quantities, we want to work out So if you want to work out the uncertainty for the division of the quantities, the same example I will use because already we calculated. So first here we were finding the power, but what if we want to find the resistance? So if you want to find the resistance, the resistance is actually a ratio between the voltage and the current. So first we find the resistance, which is the ratio between the voltage and the current. The voltage, the value recorded is 2 and the current is 5. So 2 divided by 5, that's equal to 0 0.4 ohms. What about the uncertainty? Because at the same thing, uncertainty always adds. So first what we do, we'll work out the percentage uncertainty in the voltage, which is 5%, like the uncertainty divided by value recorded into 100. Then we work out the percentage uncertainty in the current, which is the uncertainty divided by value recorded into 100. We got total 9% in the resistance. Now, the last one, so if we need the percentage uncertainty, this is the percentage uncertainty in the resistance, that is 9%. And the value of the resistance is 0.4. So what is a 9% of 4, 9% of R or 9% of the 4? So it will be 9 divided by 100 multiplied by 0 0.4. So 9 into 0 0.4 divided by 100. What's the answer? So we have plus minus 0 0.036 ohm. But whenever we represent, I should use the minimum number of the significant figure so I should use a one significant figure. What will the answer in one significant figure? It is 0 0.036. If I round it off to one significant figure, what will the answer? So the final answer will be 0 0.04. So we write plus minus 0 0.04. That will be the uncertainty in R. Yeah, uncertainty always add even the quantities are multiplied, divided, added, subtracted. But when multiplication and division happen, the quantities does not have the same units. That's why instead of directly adding the uncertainties, we add the percentage uncertainties. Is it uh, clear? Anyone having a doubt or a question from this point? No, sir. Okay. Then what if the quantities have a certain power, like example, you're finding a quantity and the power is there, the exponent is there. So you're finding that cross-sectional area, which is pi r square. And the value of the radius is given, the radius is given, like example, 3 plus minus 0 0.1 centimeter. So first what we will do, we'll find the quantity here.
and now this one can be done both ways like example the and the unit of the r is in centimeter but the unit of the area is what Centi it, because if the unit of r is centimeter area will be centimeter square or if the unit of r is in meter then area will be meter square so what we will do first we'll work out the percentage uncertainty in r what is the percentage uncertainty in r the percentage uncertainty in r the uncertainty divided by value recorded into 100 so what's the answer 0 0.1 multiplied by 100 that will make 10 10 divided by 3 that is 3.33 uh, percent so the uncertainty the percentage uncertainty in r is 3.33 percent what about the percentage uncertainty in r square so whenever so this exponent or the power will be multiplied so what is the percentage uncertainty in r square the uncertainty the percentage uncertainty in r is 3.33 so uncertainty in r square will be 3.33 multiplied by 2 if it was a cube here then we multiply by 3 if it was power 4 we multiply by 4 so the exponent of the quantity multiplied with the percentage so first we find the percentage uncertainty in that physical quantity and if it was used r square r cube r power 4 r power 5 then the percentage will be multiplied by that factor so the total uncertainty in r square will be equals to 6.66 percent and what about the area here area is pi r square so it will be 3.14 multiplied by the radius the radius is 3 square what's the final answer for cross-sectional area 9 multiplied by 3.14 square. It's, sorry, 3.14 multiplied by 9. So the final answer will be 28.26 centimeter square. So 28.26 centimeter square is the value of the area. And when area is calculated, the uncertainty, it is calculated by R square. So what will be the total uncertainty in area? If the uncertainty in R square is 6.66%, then the uncertainty in the value of the area will also be 6.66%. So what is the 6.66%? You can write 3.14 or you can also di directly write the value of the pi both are correct so that what will be 6.66 percent of area so 6.66 times the area the cross-sectional area 28.26 divided by 100 what's the answer for this 6.66 times 28.26 divided by 100 1.88 so 1.88 now how many significant figures are used one significant figure so what will the uncertainty rounded off uncertainty in area the area is having an uncertainty of 1.88 like we have plus minus 1.88 centimeters square so we will have to round off to one significant figure so we'll write this as 2 plus minus centimeter square clear is it uh, clear anyone having a doubt or a question about this uncertainty yes, sir. why one significant figure the value of the r was having an uncertainty in one significant figure that's why i use one significant figure the number of the significant like when a physical quantity is calculated by different measurements, we always use the least number of the significant figure to represent that uncertainty.
yeah we will round off the area that's right we will round off the area usually the final answer when we represent we represent in three significant figure so the final answer this value should be in three significant figure but the uncertainty should be in the least significant figure depending on the physical quantity which we use to calculate that uncertainty okay so the value which we calculate the actual value should be in three significant figure but the uncertainty in the least significant figures of the physical quantities which are used in the measurement is it uh, clear anyone having a doubt or a question till this point we'll do some examples as you can see here this is a summary if uncertainty we want to like if two numbers addition of the two number uncertainty add in indices the uncertainty multiplied by the percent yeah 28.26 is four significant figure so we have to represent our final answer in three significant figures this is just a word example <clears throat> say a length is measured this is a word example the solution is also there on the slide for 4.6 the length is measured with a uncertainty of 0.1 then 2.43 with the uncertainty of 0.01 mm and the mass is measured 3.6 with an uncertainty of 0.1 calculate the percentage uncertainty in each measurement so how to work out the percentage uncertainty in each measurement the percentage uncertainty in length that is the uncertainty divided by value recorded into 100 so we got 2.17% then we measure the uncertainty in d which is the uncertainty divided by value recorded into 100 so 0.412% and the uncertainty in the mass 0.1 is a uncertainty the percentage uncertainty will be uncertainty divided by value recorded into 100 so we got 2.78% so which quantity will leads to a higher uncertainty in the result as you can see the mass is having a greater percentage uncertainty so the error in this experiment is likely due to the mass of an object that's the first part next is calculate the percentage uncertainty in the volume so how the volume is calculated the second part how the volume is calculated the volume is actually equals to pi Uh, in the question it's actually representing say a cylinder is there a cylindrical object the diameter is given <clears throat> and the height is there like because it's a cylindrical object if you want to find the volume of the cylinder we have the formula that pi r square h so this is a diameter so using a diameter we can work out the radius half of the diameter will be equal to the radius and this length or a height is given so first we'll just substitute so pi r square h pi 2.43 divided by 2 that will give us the radius and as you can see here the units were different this was the radius was given in millimeter and the length the height was given in centimeter but we should have the same unit like if we want to find the volume which is pi r square h so the if the unit of the radius is in millimeter and the unit of the height is in centimeter this formula does not work we have to keep the the same unit that's why this div divided by 10 so this is divided by 10 to convert into centimeter and then 4.6 is already in centimeter so when we multiply we got 0.21 centimeter cube that's the volume now what about the uncertainty in the volume so how to work out the uncertainty in the volume as we calculated the vo the volume by using a formula pi is r square h or it can be because in place of r if i substitute d by 2 so this will become pi d square h so pi is a constant fixed number 4 is also a constant so means the uncertainty in the volume is due to the diameter and it's due to 
the height. So, what about the uncertainty in diameter? Because the diameter is having a power 2. So, it will be twice the percentage uncertainty of the diameter. And the percentage uncertainty in height. And what we need? We need the total uncertainty in the volume. So, if we need the total uncertainty in the volume, so we will add the percentage uncertainty of the diameter times 2 multiplied by percentage uncertainty of the height. But when, remember one thing, when you're calculating a percentage uncertainty, the unit conversion does not make difference. Because if I convert the units, or I take a percentage for the values in centimeter, or I will take the percentage uncertainty for the values in millimeter, that will give the same result. I'll come back to this point. I'll share another link. So join from the link, and we'll continue this example.